Hello everyone, this is Danish from jobsclashare.org. Today, I would like to start my video with thanking every single member of jobsclashare.org. The reason I wanna say special thank you because many, many years ago, when we were nothing, we were talking about role-specific training, skills-based training in the information technology, and only few believed in us, and only few went with us, took our certification, took our trainings, took uh, and became a member and invested in this platform which grew to almost 45,000 members right now. So today is a great moment for us because of what we are seeing in the market today and we've been talking about this stuff that you know the certifications out there are very specific to their own technology like Microsoft or Cisco or any other place that basically claim that we have this uh, you know, IT solution for you, a career solution, everybody was talking about themselves, right? Nobody was focusing on this term role-specific or role-based certification. They were just talking about Microsoft or Cisco, CCNA or, you know, MCSA and specifically going into the other certifications, which we never said it's a bad certification. We always tell people that it's good certifications, but you still have to, when you finish these certification, you got to use it in a way that you can perform on the job. So most of the people that come to our platform had MCSA, had CCNA. These were people who had some advanced certification, still have no clue how to perform an interview or even the job requirements were so vast that nobody could just believe in these type of certifications anymore and today you're seeing the result of that is right in front of your eyes that they have let go of their major certifications these are some major certifications in the market and cisco did the same thing with their certification but they have kind of like made it in a way that they made they made it sound more cool to put some uh, you know coding in there nothing bad about it because that's where we're going python stuff like that uh, so the future, we already knew the future is there, like Amazon when it took, took over and right there when Microsoft sensed it, the My Amazon is grabbing everything towards cloud, Azure kicks in and they went really good on it. Basically, they went really, really hard on it. So think about it. We have been informing our members through our YouTube channel. And if you click here, go to the job skills share and go to click on the playlist. We have created this cloud IT career videos playlist. And in this few months ago we talked about azure how it's taking over and then few days ago few uh, 20 something days ago i i showed a whole data center getting shrinked to give people more examples that look things are happening if you are not going to take actions now and not start learning now then you're going to have trouble finding jobs in the future but again if you are a jobskillshare.org member, you should have a very strong mentality and strong knowledge about, you know, where some of the careers are going because that's how we train you. This is why we, you are a part of our platform and this is the platform that we have created specifically to to tackle that situation that people were coming from certification and had no clue. So then now Microsoft did the same thing cutting down their main certifications and now they know cloud is the technology and cloud is every everything is moving and we are seeing that there's no denying in that basically but the thing is this a lot of people are confused right now new new people are confused and the people who are in the help desk field right now who are let's say uh, did our training let's say six months ago and now their confusion uh, they're kind of sensing it because a lot of people are talking about it which is something that everybody should talk about it and this is where I will tell one thing to people now. If you are a student and you are trying to get into IT and you're trying to get into the help desk career, I'm talking about the support career, the te technician's level, the help desk level, IT support technician, user support technician, desktop support technician, IT support, entry level, stuff like that. If you see anything in that title, you, have, you don't have to worry too much about the cloud stuff right now. Now, when I say don't worry about the cloud stuff, that means you're not you're not too much worried about Azure learning about the servers inside the Azure, their serverless stuff, the SQL stuff, all that kind of stuff. Nobody will let you touch those things right now. Even if you land a job after two years, you're still not doing that. You need to follow what we're basically teaching you. It's going to be same thing, Active Directory. It's going to be the same thing. It's going to be a lot of desktops and laptops. If the desktops were big, the desktops are going to shrink. That's what's happening right now. Let me show you an example. This is a desktop 
currently, but I'm sure a lot of people are still using bigger desktop. Desktop that doesn't mean I'm showing you, and that's the thing. A lot of people are going to be using laptops, so the hardware piece is going to be there, but not so much. So, if you are going to think about it, that I want to get into IT, what should be my really target right there? You should really target the things like Office 365, and you should really target Windows 10, which is still going to be more of a service-based operating system that is going to con it's connected. It's already connected, like it's OneDrive, and everything is connected to the cloud right now. So this machine that you're seeing, everything is getting shrinked over here, but the same services through the internet is going towards the cloud. And what you need to worry about is to learn about the Office 365 type of applications that's going to be a key for you right there if you want to go towards that help dispositions because most of it are about uh, Microsoft stuff but again don't worry too much about the cloud stuff now if you are worried about if you're a system administrator and you are already working let's say you're a junior system administrator and you're you're thinking are we going to have on the field on the premises systems administrator uh, in future 100% the same systems administrators are going to be needed to actually basically go over this whole Azure stuff. The whole Azure is very complex. It's not something you can just go and do it. You got to learn. And all of that SQL stuff, uh, the applications, huge CMS systems, millions of dollars of CMS systems are on Azure, getting on Azure. That doesn't mean Microsoft is managing that stuff. You will be managing that stuff. The security of that. Microsoft is not taking care of none of that. They have a overall control of everything in the back end. But all the administration, they're making it. They're gonna give it to you. Microsoft is not gonna anytime soon. They're gonna. Uh, they're not gonna take all that stuff. Trust me. You don't need to worry about that right now. For people who are in help desk and they want to move up and they're looking for more learning, strongly, my advice to you is to start learning. Azure and AWS, if whatever you feel, whichever company you're in right now and wherever you feel like they're kind of like their systems are more Microsoft stuff, then go over there. If they're talking too much about Amazon, then go over there. But you should know it because you're working in a company. And if you want to move out, then of course, then whichever side you really like, then go into that more in detail. But if you start learning about Azure right now, I can give you some information. So for example, if you go to uh, Google and just type learn Microsoft, you don't have to invest any money if you don't want to. There are some good trainings out there. You can take a video trainings and we're actually coming with our own role-based combination of uh, a modern system administrator, which uh, we know that for the next five or six years, uh, a system administrator will be working on on-premises. We just got a call from a, from a member a few weeks ago that says that I got a job. I'm really good at cloud, but the job that I got required me to know about on-premises stuff because I don't know too much about the Active Directory on on-premises because everything is hybrid right now. They're not going to move any time soon from this stuff. Trust me, don't worry about that stuff. But if you want to learn, look at this. If you can come down to this page, Azure Fundamental, nine hours of training right there in front of you. These are learning paths right there. If you look the, on the right side, there are more big trainings like Microsoft 365 Fundamental, four hours of training. And these are pretty highly rated. I just started and look at this. I'm just doing like 90%. I'm like, how are they teaching this stuff? So if you go in there, they, you can see right here, they, it's a pretty, uh, you know, step-by-step -step approach from them. So uh, trust me, you're going to learn a lot from even from this, uh, you know, free content that they're providing you the reason for them is to give you good content because they want that to be or they want good engineers they want people to learn about this stuff so then they can implement it more and more and more and take over more of the businesses which is fine because that's where we're going we're gonna have to learn it that's how we did it with our servers and the other level so don't panic you still got a time right now this is a great time to get in because a lot of experienced engineers are gonna move to the cloud quickly they're going to leave this gap be behind them. That is what's going to happen. And when a company hire you, maybe they'll hire you to, as a junior sysadmin to do on-premises stuff. So you see the shift right here. It may, may, some of the on-premises stuff may even shift to the help desk positions. So prepare yourself because things are getting cloudy right here. And if you are not seeing that, then just keep watching my video till I show my last video right here. One day I'm just gonna come back and say, hey, look, the whole data center is gone. But that's not to scare you. That means that my skills are upgraded. I'm happy with the cloud stuff. I love it, actually I love it. I mean, there's so much things you can do in the cloud that I couldn't do in the on-premises stuff and it's so easy to manage and I don't have to worry about so much hardware anymore. So 
think positively because that's how we all think xp to 7 7 to 10 and a lot of people will complain about things that they've got used to it but that doesn't mean you get comfortable in things and the more we go into the cloud situation the more we go into the cloud services trust me our jobs are gonna become more respectable we are gonna get more money and one of my goals in this is that one day we will be able to tell people that that person is a help desk person and that help desk will be respectable in all around the world because of the things that that person is supporting and when it comes to the support of office 365 as your support and stuff like that your titles are going to probably change in future too maybe they'll call you cloud support or something like that so thank you for watching this video don't be scared about this stuff you got a lot of resources right there you have our channel go watch it subscribe our channel look at all this stuff right there go to the azure fundamental training learn uh, from microsoft free stuff go to youtube Type some Microsoft Azure certification. Full courses are available on YouTube. There's so many courses, so many videos are available. So there's nothing to panic. And if you still want to learn the more on-premises stuff, like we said, that that's not going to go away anytime soon. If you want to become a junior system administrator, and if you try to go to the company right now, and even after two years, even after three years, this is my assumption. Maybe I might be wrong. But trust me, even if you go then, then you are still going to see a lot of people talking to you about, do you know about Active Directory? Can you recover Active Directory? Do you know about DHCP? We got a whole infrastructure that's on-premises. On Somebody has to manage that. So they will have to hire a person who knows both then. Now, if you're brand new to technology and you want to get into IT and you know that the reality is that you need to get in as a help desk, you still need to learn a lot of on-premises stuff with a mixture of Office 365, stuff like that. If you want to do a hands-on training, then we give you that ability by going to instructor led IT training, register, and roll ahead. And then we basically teach you, give you all the resources. Everything is hands-on. There is no theory in these courses. We talk a little bit, and then boom, we just get into the real system, create domain controllers, uh, Active Directory accounts, Office 365, and some touching Azure stuff. But that's very minimal right now. We are working on a modern system uh, system systems administrator training and also a network engineer training soon that will be available to the people who want to advance their career so thank you so much if you have some time please check out our site if you have any questions drop it down in the comment and we'll talk about it thank you